to read a china kata and it's called practice and preach ramakrishna paramahamsa was an idol guru he never preached anything before practicing it one day an old lady came to ramakrishna with her 10 year old grandson she prostrated herself before him This is my grandson. He has been living with me for 5 years since his parents died. He eats too many sweets. The doctors have asked him to stop, but he would not listen. Mother, do not worry. Bring him after a month. I shall think of a plan to convince him. that his health is more important than sweet things he has great respect and admiration of you please ask him to stop eating sweets for only you can do it she came with her grandson after a month both paid their salutations dana krishna made the boy sit beside him My dear boy, remember that the real wealth is health. Unless you take proper care of your health, you will not grow up to be a strong and healthy young man. A weak man cannot do anything real great in life. From tomorrow, stop eating sweets. After some time, you may eat moderately. You are a good boy and you listen to me. Will you not? Yes, Swami ji. I promise not to eat any more sweets. The grandmother sent the boy on some errand just to have a moment to speak confidentially with the master. Please buy grandma some coffee from the store. Master, may I ask you a question? Certainly, mother. The advice which you have given today could have been given last month itself. I don't understand. Mother, I myself am fond of sweets and eat many. How can I advise the boy to do something that I am not doing myself? One has no right to to preach anything to others before practicing it himself. This one month I abstained from sweets so that I could advise your grandson. The old woman marveled at the righteous conduct of Ramakrishna. You really practice what you preach. Thank you very much. The end. The moral of the story is you practice what you preach. I hope you like the story. Sai Ram.